What if one week of common fast food could cut your gut's immune shield in half? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today we're looking at how fats in fast food and ultra-processed foods weaken your gut's defenses within days, what happens to your protective bacteria, and the exact steps you can take to restore a resilient intestinal barrier. I'm Ilara Skye. Ultra-processed foods now make up an estimated 60% to 70% of daily calories for many adults, and your gut often takes the first hit. The intestinal lining becomes more permeable, inflammation spreads, and beneficial microbes decline. The data point to high and unhealthy fats as a central driver of this rapid breakdown. A recent immunity study tested high-fat diets at 36% and 60% of calories and found the same outcome. So researchers focused on 36%. Within 48 hours, mice on this plan showed sharp drops in key defense molecules that protect your mucus barrier. After seven days, IL-22, the immune signal that keeps your barrier strong fell by about 50% leaving your gut more open to toxins and pathogens. Looking at fat types, the difference was stark. Palmitic acid, commonly linked to industrially processed palm and cottonseed oils, suppressed IL-22 by pushing your immune cells into excessive fat oxidation and blunting regulators like STAT-3 and ROR-gamma-T. By contrast, diets enriched with oleic acid preserved IL-22 output during the experiment which helped maintain barrier integrity, though that doesn't mean unlimited amounts are wise. You should also know how fast the erosion unfolds. Defensive proteins such as MUC2 and REG3 dipped within two days on the high-fat plan. That early decline progressed into meaningful barrier damage by day seven, raising permeability and inflammation. The takeaway is that your fat choices and your total fat load can reshape gut immunity in days, not months. Ultra-processed food additives compound the harm. Emulsifiers like carboxymethylcellulose and polysorbate 80 thin your mucus layer and upregulate inflammatory bacterial products like lipopolysaccharide and flagellin. With that protection weakened, endotoxins cross into your bloodstream more easily, driving systemic inflammation tied to obesity, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even some mental health concerns. Your microbiome shifts quickly under this pressure. Protective species such as Ackermansia, Mucinophila, and Phycalobacterium prausnitzii, important because they generate butyrate to nourish your colon cells, decline within days of ultra-processed exposure. At the same time, firmicutes and proteobacteria expand on refined sugars, processed fats, and additives, tipping you toward inflammation. If this sounds familiar, you can act today. First, eliminate ultra-processed foods. Remove fried items, commercial salad dressings, and packaged snacks cooked in vegetable oils such as soybean, corn, and canola. These products deliver the very fats and additives shown to weaken barrier function and suppress the molecules that protect you. Next, cut out vegetable oils altogether and avoid oleic acid as well. While oleic acid looked less harmful than palmitic acid in the lab setting, other findings connect excess oleic acid with metabolic switches that favor fat storage. For cooking, use grass-fed butter, ghee, or tallow. These options are more stable when heated in support, rather than erode your gut lining. Then set a ceiling on total fat. Keep your fats under 30% of daily calories. When you regularly surpass that threshold, you trigger a metabolic shift that prioritizes burning fat and makes it harder to use glucose from healthy sources efficiently. Under 30%, helps you restore balance while you remove problematic oils. Rebuild your barrier with collagen. Collagen provides structural building blocks for your protective mucus layer. Make bone broth at home from grass-fed meats and use it routinely. Aim for protein at roughly 15% of daily calories, with about one-third of that, around 5% of your total calories, coming from collagen. The remainder of your calories should come from healthy carbohydrates. Reintroduce carbohydrates gradually. If you've relied on ultra-processed foods, your gut needs time to adapt. Start with easily digested choices like well-cooked white rice and ripe fruits. 
Hold off on high-fiber vegetables at first if they cause irritation. As your tolerance improves, expand to root vegetables, legumes, and well-tolerated whole grains, and work toward 200 to 250 grams of carbohydrates per day. You may be wondering how quickly you'll notice change. Damage begins within days on an ultra-processed high-fat pattern, and meaningful barrier weakening shows up within a week. When you remove those inputs and support your mucus layer, you set yourself up for the opposite trajectory, less permeability, calmer immunity, and steadier digestion. Which fats are the worst offenders? Focus your removal on vegetable oils used across fast food and packaged goods. These oils correlate with the sharpest drops in IL-22 and the fastest rise in inflammatory bacterial products. Replacing them with butter, ghee, or tallow aligns with maintaining gut protective immune activity while you lower your overall fat intake. Are all fats equally harmful? Number. The evidence shows different effects, but quantity matters too. Even fats that appear neutral in one context can disrupt important immune pathways when you push intake too high. Staying under 30% of calories from fat while you eliminate ultra-processed foods is a practical guardrail that favors recovery. If you've been eating this way for years, you can still restore resilience. Removing emulsifiers such as carboxymethyl cellulose and polysorbate 80 cuts a direct source of mucus erosion. Prioritizing collagen-rich foods helps rebuild structural defenses. Gradual carbohydrate reintroduction supplies accessible fuel as your gut recalibrates and your beneficial microbes rebound. Here's your challenge. Over the next seven days, remove ultra-processed foods and all vegetable oils from your meals, cap total fat below 30% of calories, add a daily serving of collagen from homemade bone broth, and start your carbohydrate reset with well-cooked white rice and ripe fruit. Track how your digestion, energy, and regularity respond by day seven. Thank you for watching Dr. Miracola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.